Page and this is Lifestyles by Kim. I'm here at Kennedy Park, Women's Fitness Day event in Hempstead, New York. It's not a trend, it's a lifestyle. Hello, my name is Shari James. I'm a registered nurse. This is my mom, Rose James. She's also a nurse. Today we're here to discuss blood pressure at the Women's Health and Fitness Expo at Kennedy Park. Um, it's very important for us as women to check our blood pressure, know our norms, know our vital signs because as we exercise, it's very important to know the baseline. Um, and women of color tend to have hypertension and if we know our norm, normal uh, ranges, then we'll know what we can do to prevent uh, medication in the future, we can uh, prevent uh, other causes, stroke, heart attacks, heart disease, and things that stem from hypertension and, and vital signs being out of control, including uh, changing our diets, uh, exercise regimen, and, and also encouraging our children and families to lead healthier lives to also prevent uh, all kinds of heart diseases and, and things uh, such as diabetes. All of that stems from our way of life and this is a wonderful opportunity for us to live that healthy lifestyle that we all uh, look to have and have longevity of life. And we want to thank First Lady for um, giving us this opportunity to come and talk to the women. But, um, we always do that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, my name is Dara Hall. I'm the First Lady of the Village of Hempstead. <laughs> And March is Women's History Month. So I'm thinking, what better time to celebrate women than today at this fitness program? Uh, we have a host of things in store for you, including healthy food. Um, thank you all for coming. On behalf of the Village of Hempstead, I welcome you, and please enjoy the day. Uh, my name is Sharon Hoskins, and this is... Tonja McLean. And we are the co-ambassadors for Black Girls Run. And uh, thank you. Don't let the name fool you, it's women, <laughs> and you, you don't have to be black. So. And you don't have to run. And you, you don't, don't have to run. Walk. So yeah, there you go. Um, all levels, starting from walking, moving up to walking, jogging, and then running. So um, we'll talk more about that in a little bit, but we just want to welcome you here today. We're happy to pair up with First Lady Hall and the Village of Hempstead to offer this during Women's History Month. And we hope that you get a lot out of today. Some of the other things that are going to be happening. Let's forward a little is, bit. Uh, we have health stories. Um, I, I love the group um, Black Girls Run. Like Sherry mentioned, the camaraderie of it is awesome. You know, everyone holds you accountable. Um, there's no runner that looks the same like the other one, so I don't want anybody to feel like a runner or a walker, you know, has to be, you know, uh, look a certain way. You know, you're, you're slim, you're, you know, a size two, you know, everybody is a different shape and size and everybody water. can do it. And I'm like, okay, Ma, but I love water, so it's not a problem for me. We started doing the infused water, which is just a fancy word for throw some fruit in there. <laughs> you throw some fruit in there, everybody's happy. Slice up some oranges, throw it in there. Slice, we've thrown in watermelon, fresh, and all of a sudden, water is more palatable. You know, and uh, Walmart and places like that have the big frozen fruit already in there and you just throw it in, throw it in a jar of, we keep a glass jug of water, a gallon. Well, it's not as healthy, but when you consider one versus the other, like not drinking your water versus throwing some frozen Walmart fruit in there, then it's probably better to just go ahead and drink the water because what are you drinking instead of the water? Soda, you know, whatever, whatever your choice beverage is. But that's okay. 60 is a good number. Your good cholesterol is what comes and takes all that fat that's in your arteries away to your liver to get out of your system. So your good cholesterol should be above 50. And the more you exercise, because who here exercises? All right. So everyone here, good. You don't exercise, young man back there? You, you didn't raise your hand. You do exercise? Okay. So as long as the more you exercise, the more your good cholesterol will go up higher. So the higher it is, the better off. So I have some patients, there's so. in the 90s, that's very good. So I get there and um, there's, a, there's another lady there, and um, not the one, 
Well, let me deal with the one who um said, I know you're gonna come to church like that. I said, so I said, oh no. So I get there and she's like, I thought you said you wasn't gonna come in here like that. And I was like, well, you know, I felt, I felt so good today that I just um left the ugly wig on his desk. So people are gonna say stuff. Then there was another lady and she didn't really know me, she just saw me. So she comes to me, she goes, oh, I can't believe you did that. Why would you just do that? You just, just disgrace to, you know, women just cut all your hair up like that. So I said, well, would you feel better if I told you that next month I'll probably be dead because I'm sick and, you know, that's why I'm having hair. Would that make you feel better? And she goes, oh, I didn't think about it like that. She says, well, you should think because you don't really know why a person is walking around without their hair. But be, look at them and embrace them and say, wow, that's really bold. She must really, really feel good about herself. Because I know I have to, when I do that, I have to walk like this because I know I'm going to get something, but I have to walk in like this. I can't walk in like this because everybody's looking. You know, I have to change my jewelry. I have to, you know, put on a little makeup. You know, just enhance another area. But it can be done. But embrace yourself. You know, embrace who you are. Know that you are who you are and it's not based on your hair. I can say that, but it's still hard for some people. You know, so for those that it's hard for, I, I would say, if you want to transition, still cut all your hair off. Find a nice wig if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable. But take the wig off around the house and get used to yourself.